Hey guys, um, today I want to show you how to uh, create checkpoints for your game and in this case um, you run into a checkpoint box, you end the game by dying or whatsoever and if you reload the game then you start at the checkpoint location and not at the base player location again. You also have the opportunity to have multiple checkpoints so I use this check, I, I reach this checkpoint load the game again and I start at the other checkpoint. Okay, so let's just start um, with the checkpoint. We need three blueprints for that. We need the player blueprint and we need two new blueprints that we create ourselves. So let's just create the blueprints first and then at the end we go into the character. Do the right click in the content browser and make a new blueprint class. We make a new actor. This will be our checkpoint blueprint, checkpoint BP. Uh, then we also want a new blueprint class and there we don't do an actor, we do all classes. We open up and create a save game object. You just pr uh, press in save game and there it is, save game, select, call this save game object. Okay. So. <clears throat> what we will do is that we will save um, we will save the location of the player in the save game object. We will trigger the checkpoint and, and also set the location of the checkpoint in the checkpoint blueprint. You will see what I mean. And then we will load the game in the character. Okay, so let's go. Um, we first go in the save game object. And there we basically store every data we want. Therefore, we create a new variable here. You can create any variable you like and store them in the save game object. So let's say player location. We can you can write player lock, and the player location needs to be a vector so that we have the three coordinates x, y, and z vector. Compile save. As I mentioned, you can create more variables here and save all of them. That's it for the uh, save game object. So let's jump right into the checkpoint. What we need here is um, we need we just need one component here. So we add it by box collision. So this means that um, as soon as the player get into this box collision then we will save the location of the actor, like of the checkpoint actor himself. Um, and if the player restarts the level, then he will spawn at the checkpoint location. This is what you have to know. So we go to the box, we select the box component, scroll right down here, and then we do on component begin overlap. Bam. So now we have the, the node here. On component begin overlap and um, what we want to do is that uh, so first what you do is um, we make a check if there is already a checkpoint existing uh, we do this by does save game exist the important thing is there we have the slot name um, we will create the slot name and this will be actually a file stored in your computer like created in your computer where the um, all the information from the save game object will be in um, Let's call this check and it's very important that it's always written check and in exactly that uh, Type so you could if, if you want to make sure you can go with just one you know, we will do just one, <laughs> so you will see what I mean. So here we ask, does the save game exist? But we don't really um, do a true or false. So we need a branch here. So here we ask it and here we, we say if it's true or false. And so let's go with the first um, step is like false because we don't have a save game object yet. So we say create save game object. Very good. And there you go. If you see, we have the save game object here. This is the save game object recreated. The other one is 
basically the one from Unreal. So don't worry about this save game object. Okay, there we will do one thing. We will now pull out player lock. Um, we will set player lock. The thing is, if you don't see player lock here, you really have to see that you have uh, under save game object that you have compiled this. Okay. Um, yeah, now what we will do is we created the save game object. Now we have to save game to slot. And the best way is to, if we pull out of the blue return value here and we do um, uh, save game to slot. And here again, we need the um, we need the one from the slot name. This will be the file name on the computer, as I mentioned. And one thing here is that we really need to execute this um, node. So press control, pull it out here, place it in here, and boom, first one is done. Okay, so now what we will do when there is already a save game, then we will load game from slot. Load game from slot. And here we also write in one. It will always be the same name. You can write in a name that you want. You can also, by the way, if you don't want to write in the name all the time, you can pull it out, promote to variable, call this check, and then you can call this any name you want, basically, also again. And you can always pull it in here, get, put it in there, and so on. But I won't do this now. Okay, so here we need, um, since we uh, loaded the game from slot, we need to cast to the save game object. Cast to save game object. And there again, we will set um, the location of the player again. Oh yeah, I forgot something. Um, we'll do this in a moment. So um, we, we pull out of the sa as save, um, as save game object and do the set player lock again. And also we pull out here and say save game to slot again. So um, yeah, we do the over saving exactly. So one thing I, I forgot is that we really need to set the player location um, to, to somewhere. And actually we want the location of the checkpoint itself so that the player, if, if the game reloads, that the player start at the location of the checkpoint. You understand? So what you do is you, uh, you just press right click and get actor location. And to make sure this is not the location of the player, this is the location of the actor himself, the checkpoint itself. Um, this we will place here and here. And there you go for the checkpoint blueprint. This should be it. So the last thing we need to do is we um, need to create, uh, we need to, to load when the game loads, that we really load the game um, yeah, in the player. You can do this somewhere else, but I, I, th I, I believe in the player it makes the most sense. Uh, so let's go into the player blueprint. You find it under third person blueprints and third person character blueprint. This is the player basically. So what we will do here is um, we will do the same thing as in the checkpoint. We will ask at the beginning of the game, does save game exist? Then we will do the branch. And if not, then we will do nothing. But if yes, we will load game from slot, cast to save game object. So these four nodes, you can basically just copy. I will show them again in the other um, blueprint so you can see. So we have does save game exist, slot name one into the branch and on true load game from slot slot name one cast to save game object so here we want to ask this does save game exist at begin play so if the game starts then it will ask does save game exist again if not nothing happens the player will just start at uh, default location. But here's the thing, when we load the game, 
Um, so if, if there is a checkpoint uh, uh, saved, then we will load the game from slot, we will cast to the save game object and we will set, ah no, we will get player lock from the checkpoint. So this is the saved player location and this location we will set the player um, the, the location of the player himself to this location. So what we will do is that we pull out here of the um, um, of the vertex variable and we do um, set player oh no set actor location uh, set actor location it, in this in this uh, case it means of the player because we are in the blueprint uh, blueprint of the player we do this we connect the execution pins here and I think that's about it let's let's just try it out it's it's already it, it should already work so um, I placed the checkpoint somewhere you have to see that um, oh one thing <clears throat> let's go back into the checkpoint and press on the box here in the components box and then we will turn off the hidden in game it's basically on the right side here on the details panel um, hidden in the game off compile save and yeah so we have the checkpoint there and check it out I can even create multiple checkpoints let's see now I start the game I run into my checkpoint. Okay, so there's nothing visual, but actually the sa sa uh, checkpoint saved. Let's do escape and play again. He will. The, the game will start now at the checkpoint. If I go to the other checkpoint, st stop the game and start it again. I will start at the second checkpoint. Um, if I get back to the first uh, checkpoint, I get also the first checkpoint again. So yeah, one thing maybe to, to improve a bit is um, we can we can make a um, um, we can make a little um, message when we get the checkpoint um, when we get the we get to the checkpoint. So we do the when the box overlaps, we do a print string say checkpoint reached and then ah, compile save and then um, if I go into the checkpoint you see on the top left corner checkpoint reached and it's always doing it like if I'm if I get into the checkpoint again it's again saving um, if I want to have all my checkpoints deleted so for example um, uh, I want to start at the base location again and not at the checkpoint. Uh, there's just one thing to do. So let's go into the character blueprint again. And we do on input, um, let's say, let's say P input, um, P key input. Let's see, we'll find it here. The P key, you can use whatever key you like. We do um, print string, checkpoint deleted, and yeah, it's basically a node called delete game, delete game in slot. And as you may know, there is you 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 place in the same name as you always did, like the one. Uh, just to just to show one thing here, if you go into the Unreal um, folder of your of your um, project, on the saved save games, you have now the one point sav file, which we created basically from this um, create save game, and so on. So this was the very basic um, way of creating a checkpoint. If you want, uh, yeah, we, we can we can create more 
quality of life uh, uh, things for it so uh, s setting the rotation and so on maybe uh, changing that the checkpoint is always like that the, that you can checkpoint uh, get the checkpoint again and again but if you would like to see that please uh, leave a comment anyways if you like the video please give me a like and subscribe to the to the channel i want i really want to do more of these tutorials uh, also if you if you'd like the if you liked the video consider checking out my game that i'm creating with unreal engine it's called exodition th uh, third person platformer yeah you can play it on steam it's a free demo at the moment and it's uh, like 50 percent done the game so yeah, I would love to to get more uh, to get more players in uh, for my game. <laughs> okay, so uh, see you. I hope this helped you and have some nice game dev, guys. Bye bye.